All right, it is currently 4.30, as me and Big Dave No Sleeves. We uh, make our trek to Montreal for the GWC Finals. Gotta love uh, early travel, but uh, yeah, we're on our way to Union. All right, just got off the GO train. Union Station in Toronto. Time to get myself a coffee and head to Montreal. All right, currently on the VIA train to Montreal. The old man's already sleeping. So we got a nice little six hour ride and we'll be in Montreal for the uh, for the GWC. We get the check in our hotel and we get to like five hours to do whatever we want. So let's go. All right, we just got off the train in uh, Montreal Center, uh, Montreal Central Station. Uh, we're gonna grab our Uber, go to the hotel and uh, yeah, train definitely better than flying all the time though. All right, got our first little uh, lunch at uh, someplace called uh, Ye Old Orchard pub and grill the old man and uh some fish and chips let's go all right nice little pesto pizza and some nachos okay <laughs> just had dinner all done for the night and uh tomorrow we go down to the venue bright and early right pops right all right right all right it is the rehearsal day and it's like what is it 8 a.m it's 8 a.m here with my old man and uh we're gonna go head down to the bell center and get set up at the at Tavern Modern, I think it's called, and uh, yeah, we'll see what the venue looks like. All right, here we are at the Bell Center. I haven't been here in a long time. Yeah, I think we go right here. Right in downtown Montreal. Yeah, there's a site there's a game. And there we go, and the GWC finals are connected right off of it. All right, here we are. The GWC stuff all over the walls. Let's go see what the venue looks like. All right, we're at the venue, and here is the stage. The players will compete on with a huge screen up top, and then there's a second floor where uh, everyone can sit up and watch way up there. Looks great. All right, fellas, here we are, and this is a setup. It's like 200-foot oh, screen, and then the second deck, and you have the hut heroes in the background. No, a really nice venue. They did a really good job setting it up. All right, time for some warmies. I need to get warmed up. You'll probably beat me. Yikes. Not a bad view for the quarterfinals. Watching Sap and Jose in game number one. Currently, one nothing Sap. Two nothing. <laughs> my two, my two goes. Look at these guys. Coming down to the wire here, regs and uninstall. Uninstall is one game one. Regs leading 2 1 in game two. He's got to win this one to move on. All right, it's about to be Polgs versus Gren in the quarterfinals, one of the biggest matchups of the GWC. And there is our latest winner, Regzi, doing some photos. Let's go. Big time. Rehearsal time. Hi. Hi. Hello? Hi, say oh, hi. Oh, crap, I thought you were over there. Hi. Rookie. Let's go. <laughs> Don't mess up the hair. Hey. You sure did, Cupcake. Oh, is it all over my hair? No, I'm just recording oh, you do it. That's fine. Dude, I, I shine, man. All right, just finished rehearsals. So tomorrow is the big day. Gonna go get it something to di something for dinner and uh, then relax. It's tomorrow. It's all over. All right, in the lobby here at the Sheridan for the draft. All ready to go. Just about to meet Grizz and Kevin from the NHL and head over to the Bells or the Tavern Modern beside the Bell Center and uh, finish up rehearsal for today. Today's the big day. Let's go. All right, walk into the arena. Uh, about to uh, get to the Tavern Modern, I think is how you say it. Connect to the Bell Center. Cast the GWC. I'm with Kevin NHL. How's it going? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> See, yeah, the face of the GWC now. Uh, but no, it's gonna be good. We got to finish up rehearsal and then we're gonna crown a champion. So let's go. All right, right off the elevator, here is the venue. We'll go right to the first floor where the competitors will play on the main stage. I'm not gonna lie, this is actually a really sick spot. 
So it's a bar and restaurant that's connected to the Bell Center. So here it is, here's the lower bar. And we'll go all the way over to the front where me and everyone else will go. Here we go, here's the main stage. Kevin NHL Let's again. Go. Let's go. Yeah. And then we go right over here. Me and Grizz and Carlin's spot. Here we go. Cameras will be a little bit lights will be a little bit brighter, but here we are. Alright, now I'll take you guys up to the second floor. There'll be a lot of seating and whatnot up the escalator ride. Here we go. This is where like all the sponsors and people working the events and some of the guests of the family I think are gonna be able to sit up here. But uh, let's go take a look. Second bar up top. Kevin in a gel again. How did you beat me up here? <laughs> Over here, this is where the competitors played their quarterfinal matchups. And then this is where they can warm up, which is actually a pretty good practice uh, practice spot compared to some of the other lands that they did in 2018, 2019. So not bad at all. We've got a couple of huge booths over there. And then all this seating up here. And then right down below, it's the competitors, the huge, uh, huge screen up top. So great venue. Look at that thing. Best part of the 22 to see GWC is the new belt. Big goal there in rehearsal. Five minutes remaining. One nothing lead for Jose. As a draw win out of Byram. Byram's got it across the line. He cuts into the middle, rips one on, and Kemper is going to hold on to that one. Just kidding, he plays it out. Now to Zingle, into the middle, here's Bean. Sends that to Armia. Armia's got a step of 2 on 0 sends it back to Stefan and he can't get the shot away. Huge missed opportunity. And you were invited to join him in box seats for game seven Monday. So, uh, congrats to him. Thank you for asking. What? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, we were All right, rehearsal's done, and now we're to game time. My old man's got the best spot in the house. All right, we are like five minutes to showtime here. We got the crew out in the back. Almost time to go. We've got some guys that you all know very well. Cam No Sleeves Halbert joining me on Play by Play. Anthony Grisgol Sevilla joining us as our analyst today. And we had a little TV magic behind there the scenes. Go. Boom! Whoa! Oh my gosh! There Two draft go. prospects joining us at the desk right now. We've got Matt Savoy, Connor Geeky. How you guys doing? Doing good. I'm doing great. Good? Yeah? You excited to be here? Oh yeah. Great time for an icing because we're joined with Commissioner Gary Bettman. Guys, he's up to date on all things I'm not I'm pretty impressed. I can't. <laughs> no, I'm more impressed how you can call a, a video game the way you're doing it. I mean, that is amazing. As a, as a high praise, I appreciate that. As, yeah, we've got two of the best in the world here and uh, happy to be joined by you here as uh, Rags trying to get back into this one. Ten seconds remaining. They're going to play it out. And your 2022 NHL GWC North American Club Champion is Rags. There he is grabbing some pictures. The GWC champion Regzi in his belt. Oh my God, it's over. So you're a happy man. So happy. Look at this guy. Let me see it. Regzi 84 right there. There he is. The kid. The king. Just cleaned up, bro. Just cleaned up. All right, welcome back to the hotel, everyone. And uh, it's a beautiful night. It's a, it's a good night to have a good night. Yo, here's a victory dinner, but I don't know if I'm supposed to eat this thing. Big, oh, man. Big Dave got a giant ass sandwich. Good lord. All right. I mean, hey. Pretty beautiful, huh? Dude, this is wild, man. We're in Old Town of Montreal. Let's go, dude. Unbelievable. All right, so after a fun night out, uh, gonna meet James from the Washington Capitals this morning. Talk to him about uh, some new things that they're gonna do, and uh, yeah, man. So. We're gonna, after that, we're gonna go grab some breakfast and with my old man, and then we got uh, the afternoon to just hang out and do whatever we want. All right, outside the hotel, the Sheridan, and uh, wait, the draft is in, I think, like six hours. Saw like four or five guys down there, Shane Wright, they're all just walking around, just 
talking to their parents or whatever, I don't know. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get some lunch, see the city with my old man and Jordan from uh, Isles GT. And uh, yeah, we got the draft later on tonight. Yeah, we have a bear in the woods. Oh my goodness. Dude, it's like three times the size of the summer. Yeah, we scored our last lunch here at uh, DeVille. I can't pronounce it, but look at this sandwich. Good lord. Kevin loves it. All right, here are the lobby of the Sheridan. A lot of families and friends, it looks like, from uh, a lot of the draftees. It's pretty busy. We're about to head over to the Bell Center a little bit early with me and my old man and check out all the festivities and uh yeah should be a good time also live reaction the debrinket trade what an awful move from chicago i mean absolute fleece job by ottawa all right just about to walk in front of the bell center for the draft a little early got about two hours two and a half hours until the draft starts but lots of people lining up here at the Bell Center. Oh, we got upper deck packs here. All right, so here at the upper deck, I just bought a 2021 hobby box. Now we get to go and drop some pucks and see if we can't win some stuff at the upper deck uh, booth. So here we go. All right, playing a little upper deck plinko. Here we go. Like, I'm all the way down. Oh, Connor McDavid. Heading up to our our seats for the draft. All the festivities going on outside the Bell Center. All right, we're uh, walking with all the guys out onto the floor of the draft as we're about to go into the draft floor. All the kids getting their picture taken on the draft floor. As we're about to find out who's going to go first overall, fans are starting to pile in. We're real early, but venue looks phenomenal. Look who I found. Who's hey. going first overall? Shane Wright. I think so, too. I want Ultimate Chaos. I want Slavkowski to go first. I want a trade, man, like two. Dude, Ultimate Chaos. All right, here go the kids as they are going to get introduced on the draft floor. <laughs> Literally... The most important people in hockey. And there are the boys. Dude, they said Lebanese man 69. <laughs> nice. Let's go. All right, we're at our seats, my old man. And uh, yeah, we've got great seats to see who's going to go first overall. All the players just went up on the stage. It's pretty it's pretty insane. And Grizz is right there as we wait for everyone to come up here, but the draft's about an hour away. It is packed here. Everyone's getting ready to get their seats. Here we go! The booze! The booze! Way to be, Gary. Dude, how are you even doing that? Please be right. <laughs> Please be right. Here we go. Please be right. Want it to be right. Whoa! Oh my god. Oh my god.
picks number 13 and 66 in this year's draft to the Chicago Blackhawks in exchange for Kirby Dock. Alright, so that was an insane first three picks. Shane Wright is still on the board. Kirby Dog is now a Montreal Canadian. And like, I don't know, it's wild. There we go! We're on Francis, right? Yeah. That, that's huge for Seattle. Uh, no, he wanted to go one. Now he just go to Seattle and prove all wrong. Oh, dude, he is gonna be—he's gonna go full demon mode, man. He's gonna. I feel like the Sharks are still gonna go with Lecker Mackey or something here, but I would love it if Connor Geeky's on the board. Give me the big kid. Give me the big kid to play with Eklund. Anaheim Ducks would like to wish. Come on, Andy not Marshman, geeky. The Marshman family and the entire uh, San Jose Sharks are warm with sympathy. Not geeky. With the, hand, with the 10 selection, the Anaheim Ducks select Abel Nintikov, the Sagan Spirit. Okay. All right. All right. Minyakov goes. All right. We got a shot here. All right, here we go. It begins. Yeah, we got a trade? Nah. Shark. Sharks won't trade their pick. The Sharks aren't coming up to the thing, so... I think they're moving their pick. JT Miller, welcome to... Let's go, come on! That's better. Pick number 11, the next pick in this draft, to the San Jose Sharks for picks 27, 34, and 45. Yo, I take that for one pick. Okay. San Jose has the 11th selection in the 2023 draft. San Jose, you're on the clock. Wait, what? They didn't trade their next pick. What pick did they trade? He messed, he messed it up. Arizona's, Arizona's on the clock. Arizona's on the clock. All right, so that was super anticlimactic. The Sharks gave up their 11th overall pick, so the the Connor Geeky dreams are over for the 27th and a couple other ones. So I guess they wanted quality over quantity. But kind of lame, I'm not gonna lie, kind of lame. And Arizona with that pick selects Connor Geeky. Congrats to him, he was an awesome dude to meet. I really want to be a Shark. He's gonna be good, that sucks. All right, pick 26. Lambert is still on the board, which would be pretty solid. My man Sapp, pretty knowledgeable with the draft. He said that Howard might be a big pick for them, but Montreal is in the way, and I got a feeling they're gonna take Lambert here. I like this draft. All right, Howard or Lambert here. Let's make it happen, Sharks. All right, let's see what you got, fellas. Like Brad Lambert or Howard would be pretty sweet. Brad Lambert would probably be the best one, because they need forwards. Doesn't matter, Bortolo is gonna win the Calder next year. God, I just want to see the Sharks play hockey now. When? Now. For what? Passing to Arizona with pick number 29, a future second, and a future third for pick 32. Zach Cassian? Oh, got, went for a first? He got traded with a first, a second, and a third for a first. Oh. The what else is new? Arizona gets another cap dump. God, that sucks. Get up. <laughs> Get up! All right, Sap says Howard or Lambert here. Here we go. If not Lambert, it'll be, or if not one of those two, it'll be Burgess. Come on, kiddo. <laughs> You can't come to this podium, sir. <laughs> come on. The San Jose Sharks are proud to select the wind choking center Philip Vista. That's a bad pick. That's tough. That's a bad pick. 
That's tough. All right, dude. Come save the sharks. Sharks usually reach in the first round. Who knows, maybe he'll save the sharks or he'll be on the Barracuda for a while. <laughs> All right, so the Sharks just took uh, Philip Bysad, who is ranked in Central Scouting like in the 70s, so of course they did. Uh, but it was an awesome experience getting to come to the draft. I met a lot of people that recognized me, which was kind of unreal, and you get to hang out with the game, gamers and everyone from the NHL again. Uh, absolute blast of a trip. Now me and my old man, uh, we're gonna go back to the hotel and we've got an early train, but uh, yeah, it's an absolutely great experience. So. All right, we're at the train station, time to go home. We got to uh, experience the GWC and the draft. Montreal was awesome. The draft last night was insane. Uh, but yeah, time to go home and uh, get back to work. So one more train ride and then that's all she wrote. Are you traveling this weekend on the go? Avoid lineups at Ticket vending machines and let go do the driving. Buy a GoTrade Transit $10 one day weekend pass or a $15. Alright, just got off the train. Trip is all over. Pops is tired, I'm tired. I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs>